Welcome to our review on gas calculations. The first thing we need to know then is that one mole of any substance in the gas state will occupy the same volume when it's at the same temperature and pressure. And this is known as the molar volume. So what we find is that any substance at room temperature and pressure when in its gas state will have a volume of 24 decimeters cubed per mole. The formula we need to remember then is that the volume in decimeters cubed is the amount in moles times by our 24 decimeters cubed per mole. So you can put that into a triangle if it's easier for you to remember, but make sure you do know that the volume in decimeters cubed is the amount in moles times by that 24. To give you an example of the kind of question I could ask you here, 1.31 grams of zinc reacts with excess sulfuric acid. We're given the balanced symbol equation there, including the state symbols. And remember, G stands for gas. And we're asked to calculate the volume of hydrogen produced at RTP, so room temperature and pressure. The first step is to calculate the amount of our limiting reactant. So in the question, it tells us that we have an excess of sulfuric acid. Therefore, the one that's our limiting reactant must be zinc. So if we look up zinc on the periodic table, which remember is on that data sheet, if you flip it over, you'll see it in the exam, then that has a molar mass of 65.4. We've got 1.31 grams of zinc in our actual experiment. So to work out the amount of zinc, it's 1.31 divided by 65.4 which gives us 0 0.0200 moles. Next, we look at the balanced equation and we can see that one mole of zinc makes one mole of hydrogen gas. So we can apply that same ratio that we know that 0 0.0200 moles of zinc will therefore make 0 0.0200 moles of hydrogen. Now we know the amount in moles all we then need to do is times that by 24 to get the volume of our hydrogen. So 0 0.0200 times by 24 gives us 0 0.48 decimeters cubed as our volume that the hydrogen would actually occupy. Hopefully at the end of this video, you can describe the relationship between molar amounts of gases and their volumes. You can recall that the molar volume of a gas at room temperature and pressure is 24 decimeters cubed per mole. You can recall the equation that links the amount and volume of a substance in the gas state. And you can calculate the volumes of gases involved in reactions using the molar gas volume.